Okay, everyone, to begin the sweater, I'm using a weight 3 yarn, so this is a fine baby yarn. I'm using a lavender and a white color. You can use whatever colors you want. Uh, you're also going to need your yarn needle. It's soft, uh, round on the top. Some scissors, and then for this sweater, I use a size G hook. Here is a 4.25, and you're going to be ma making 12 granny squares with one, two, three, four rounds each. So here you could see that I use the lavender for the first two rounds and then the white for the last two. You can make whatever color combinations you like. I would recommend that you make your last row, the fourth row, the same color on all your squares so that when you sew it together, you could sew it with that matching, oops, here, that matching yarn and then your seams will um, not show as much. So here you're going to make 12 squares. I didn't put the, I'm not going to show you how to make the squares because I'm going to put the link for a video on how to do the granny squares. I've already done that video so they didn't see many much sense in doing it again. So here then you're going to get your squares and sew them in sets of two along one of the edges. So here let me show you what I've done. I have these all ready all sewn together. So here I have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And so like I said we're going to have. So here you're going to sew beginning on the second chain on each corner ending on the second chain on the bottom and you can um because that's the edge you can just sew them uh which you can use whatever method of sewing you prefer i'm just going to seam them up along here and so i'm going to have all 12 of them done then i'll come back and show you how we sew them together so here i'm just going to begin on the second chain one two right there and i'm only going through one loop and then I'll go through the second chain here, one, two, into the outer loop of both of them. Okay. I'm just going to make a little knot, flip it over, make a little knot, and then that side, I could just kind of work it in when I'm working with my um, seams. I'm going to flip it back over so that I could see where my seams are. If you want, you could put them together this way or just lay them like this. Now I'm going to my next stitch grab that outer stitch only and then do it that way all the way across make sure all your stitches are matching up and if you like you can sew that tail in as you go to hide it this is all we're going to be doing across so you're getting the outer the edges that are outer not all you're not going through both loops because this will make a nice flat seam and I do have a video on how to sew the two ways of seaming different ways of seaming up your um, edges and I will put the link there so that you could see that so I'm going to go all the way across and finish this last set of two you can see that now when I open it up it'll uh, lay nice and flat now I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we work these other ones. I've reached my last, the second chain here on both sides. So then I'm just going to go back in and then on the back I would just make a little knot. And then I could work in that knot, my tails if I, um, if I like there. So I can just work these in as I work my other edges. I leave them a little bit long so they're easier to sew in. So now all our sets are sewn in and now I'm going to show you how what we're going to do next. Okay, now we're just going to sew two of our sections together so that we could make a big square. And we're going to start in the second chain and in the second chain of each edge and in on this other second chain, meaning that you do three chains in the corner. So you're going to start in the second uh, here. I'm only taking one edge, going to the other one here and I'm going to sew all the way across and finish this and like I said I have a video on how to sew your edges and I'll put the link for that so you could review that as Okay, now as you can see, I've sewn my two pieces together, so I have that square. All the right sides, of course, are facing the same direction, meaning up. I'm going to flip this over, so now my wrong side is up, 
And then here are my two other pieces that I'm going to use for the front. This is the back of the sweater. This will be the front. So now here, I'm going to sew along these top edges to do my front. What is going to be different here is that for this one, let me try start with the right. I'm going to start at that second chain here like I have been all along. So open it up this way. You can flip. It could just be like this. It looks like a big uh, kind of like a flag there. So here, I'm going to start on the second chain here, second chain here, work all the way, but here, after that second, here's that first grouping, then the second grouping, that's going to be my last stitch, the rest will be left unworked, the same thing will be here, I'm going to start in the second chain and second chain, work here, and then when I get here to my second grouping, here's one, two, the rest, the corner, and the next group will be left free so that this will be the neck of the sweater. So I would just sew here through my last two and then I will stop there, make my little secure with a little knot. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, and now you're going to take two of your pieces, you're going to line them up, open this up like this, okay, so now we have the neck piece, piece. you're going to line these up here, sew these from this corner to this corner, there, and do that on the same side, and these are the sleeves, this is the back, the front, and the sleeves, sew these together here, beginning on your corners, ending on your corners, on both sides, I will do that and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, now you've seen that I've sewn my sleeves on, the back, the sleeves, and the front. Now we're going to pick this up. These are all the right sides. The bottom is the wrong side. I'm going to pick it up, fold it over, and now can you start to see the shape of the sweater? Now we're going to sew from this edge to the center, and then from the center down to shape the sweater. We're going to do that on both sides. Okay, so you could do it either way. I like, you could start from this side. On if you want to do um, some people like to instead of sewing they like to do it with a slip stitch I'm going to be sewing my edges just the same way starting in the second chain of the corner here just like that and now the easy way for me to do it is to now that I know that these pieces go together I'm going to open it this way so that I could sew along and I'm going to do both sides it's a sleeve so this part has been sewn there. Now, sew the other side the same way. And then we'll come and do the little trim around the edges. Um, okay, now you can see that I've sewn both sides. And now you could clearly see the shape of the sweater. Of course, this is the front and then the back. So now here, I'm going to join my yarn um, in the bottom edge here. I don't want to do it on the front because I don't want it to show the join and, you know, when the baby's wearing it. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to do trim all the way around the edges and around the sleeves. Um, and then that way you don't you have more of a finish edge instead of just the edge of the granny square. I'm just going to start on the right side. So this is the right side of the little sweater. I'm going to start in the back here because I don't want to have the join. Like, I'm not going to do it on the um, edges because um, then it'll be too um, bulky there. I always start with a slip loop, you don't have to do that. And then with the same size hook, I'm going to start here going through both loops this time. Let me see if I can get closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So there I'm going to go ahead go through both loops, get my little slip loop, and then I'm going to chain one, and you could do half double crochet or double crochets, and then into the next stitch, into the next chain, I'm just going to start doing a single crochet. A row all the way around on every chain. Whoops, I think I split the yarn there. And when I get to the corners, um, which is the second chain here, on that second chain, I'm going to do three single crochets to make that turn so that it'll keep the shape. And when you're stitching, you're going to do it even on 
your um, chains here in between the double crochets, okay? So you're going to go all the way around every stitch, one single crochet, and I'm going to do that for at least two or three rows. I Okay, here I've come to the corner. What I mean the corner is that second chain. So on that second chain, I'm going to do three single crochets to give me that little curve around the corner too. And there is three. So now if I take my stitching out, you can see how it kind of turns the corner. And then I can continue again with one single crochet in every stitch, including those two chains in between our clusters. And when you do that three double, three single crochet in that corner, it gives you that nice little curve. Okay, as you can see, I finished all the trim around the front and around the sleeves. I did three rows of single crochet. And now I'm just gonna use some ribbon. And if you look at your corner, here's the corner. And then in the next opening here is where I'm gonna string through the ribbon because I don't want it way to the top. You don't want to choke the baby out. If you want to do this uh, part with um, crochet, you can crochet 60 chains and then just um, add that as a little tie here. I'm just doing the ribbon and because it frays, I always do like a little knot on the end. Just like that. It's hard to see because it's a lighter little ribbon and then you could just have a little bow there so it's totally up to you if you want to do it with crochet I really like this bow you could do a lavender bow or a counter and if you want to make it bigger you know you can make it bigger so remember all the links to make the granny square and to sew the edges uh, to sew them together are on the video description below so that you can um, learn to do those and so I really like this project because it's super easy if you can make it granny square you can make it thanks so much for sharing your day with me have a great day and remember always that God loves you